At the end of the eighth round, Chavez took that round. Take a look at the action here. This is a real low blow. So that's how Frankie was hurt again. Chavez got away with this throughout his career, and Chavez is slick in that he throws low blows to the offside of the referee. And at age 41, he still knows how to do that. And that really hurt Frankie Randall with that low blow. But coming up to the ninth round, and Frankie kind of glued to that stool right now. Chavez looks uh, mighty fatigued, but not as bad as Frankie, but Frankie took a real tough low blow. And now he gets back up and seems to be all right as he tries to kick some uh, blood circulation into those legs again. This is round number nine. This is scheduled for 10 rounds. And it has all the look that it's gonna go the distance. Randall up on his toes, laces out with that left hand in the face of Chavez. He's a little bit annoyed that Chavez has hit him with so many low blows during the course of the fight. Some of them are accidental, but it doesn't make any difference whether they're accidental or not. It's an illegal blow, and he's got away with it a lot at borderline body shots uh, in his career. There's another one that was taking itself to the border. But that one, Frankie Randall was able to pick off. We're in the ninth round. Randall to the left of his green and green. Chavez continues to work, trying to work the body is Chavez. And that time, both guys exchanged shots and Randall backed him off with a left hand and then a straight right hand. And again, those power shots a couple of years ago might have dropped Chavez, but it didn't work here tonight. Chavez, I must say, has got himself in extraordinary condition for age 41. To put on a final show for his fans here in Mexico City is that body shot again. And those body shots, by this stage and most of his fights in his prime, would have finished fights. Their first fight went the distance and Frankie got the split decision. This uh, last fight in their career, I would say Chavez is comfortably out in front. He's landing many more blows than his Frankie. Frankie's making a fight out of it. He tries to land a good shot there with the right hand and he catches Chavez, but doesn't seem to hurt him. And again, those power shots, right hands that Randall has landed in this fight on about four or five occasions would have dropped fighters earlier in his career. Now Chavez loads up the shot. Frankie comes off the ropes throwing shots. And by golly, I tell you, the pace of the fight has been pretty damn good with a minute to go here in the ninth round. There's Chavez tries to work the body of Frankie. Frankie wants no part of it as he throws punches of his own. Now Chavez walks him into the corner. Both guys still throwing punches and trying to throw as hard as they can. Now Lupe Garcia has to separate the two. Frankie seems to get some sort of second win again. He's hanging on a little bit here. And we come up to the last few seconds here of the ninth round. Chavez is trying to put the pressure on Randall and trying to end this thing. Randall falls back off the ropes and not unleashes a pretty good right hand of his own. Inside of 10 seconds to go in the ninth round of this fight. I'm getting to see Cesar Chavez winning most of the round. Clean blows, and the bell ends the ninth round. So this one will go to the tenth round, and that's an extraordinary effort by both guys. Let's go! I've got an 87-82 in my scorecard, and if the judges have the same way, Randall would need a knockout to win. As you take a look at some of the action here in the ninth round, you see the borderline low blow. Not too many people would have thought this would have gone into the tenth round at the age of these two fighters. We're getting ready for the 10th and final round. All right, 
right, here we go. This is the tenth and final round of this fight that most people never dreamed would go this far. Two aging former champions, nine world titles between the two of them. Julio Cesar Chavez, I have a comfortably out of one of my scorecards. Frankie Randall in the green trunks will have to knock him out, I think, to win this fight. That's exactly what he's trying to do. Look at this! Randall unleashing shots. But Chavez says, no, you're not going to put me down in front of my home crowd. As the battle continues. Body shots. Back upstairs is Chavez. Randall comes forward. He let his barrage go in the first 10 seconds of this round. And you see his punches look a little bit awkward, but he's still throwing. And again, I have to say, for the age of these guys, the pace in the 10th round is pretty darn good. But, hey, you don't get nine world championships, six for Chavez and three for Randall, without being the possessor of a tremendous heart, along with terrific ability. And look at this, both of them trying to put on a final show with extraordinarily talent that they had in the primes of their career. They're trying to go as best they can right to the very end of this fight. Neither guy wants to quit. Neither guy wants to get out. Neither guy wants this fight to end his career with a loss. Julio Cesar Chavez has landed four clean blows from the court fight, but Frankie Randall has nothing short of heart and courage throughout the course of this fight. Look at this. Look at the way these guys are working in this fight. And that's a credit to the great champions that they once were. Nobody wants to quit. There's no quit in either one of them. Both guys have got to be out on their feet, especially with Randall fighting at a mile high here. And the pace of the fight has been like this throughout. Pretty furious right now as Chavez tries to end it with a knockout, or at least putting Randall down. Remember in their careers, Randall never went down and Chavez did go down. Chavez would like to be paid right now with that, but instead Frankie battles off the ropes. Look at this. How about this? No quit in either one of these fighters. Well, we have noticed a lack of power that they once possessed. There's no lack of heart of either one of these guys. Continues the bang, does Chavez as he comes forward. Randall sort of hangs on and lets fly with a left hook of his own, and now he has to hang on. Oh, I want to get that energy sucked up the same as Frankie Randall did that time, but Frankie doesn't stop throwing punches. And Chavez, in the last closing seconds of the fight, pours in on him. Both guys are flailing punches until the final now. Chavez is throwing more punches, but there's no quit. Go to go in the seventh of race. What a battle! At 41 and 42 years of age, respectively, Julio Cesar Chavez had a great performance for his age against the former world champion Frankie Randall. Well, Chavez Randall 3 was not disappointing. It was an excellent prize fight to watch. We're going to have to get out of here in a hurry once the decision is rendered. We want to thank our studio coordinators in uh, Hollywood, Mike Randolph and our producer in Hollywood, David Getz, and our Mexican coordinating producer, Ben Estevillo, for his great job. Our technical manager and a tough job it was Big John Pinkett's great job. Our associate producer has been uh, Jason Fidel. And we'll get the decision here rapidly for you, and then we'll see so long. So you have the opportunity to see a pretty remarkable fight for these two great champions. <laughs> Thanks.
Jimmy Lennon Jr. As soon as he gets the scores, we'll have it for you. And we'll make this official. All right. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. with the decision. Jimmy, take it away. I don't know if Jimmy can see me to take it away. Very fine. Very fine. Yeah, it was tough. Jimmy can't see me. We're trying to get to him to get this decision for you. All right, here's Jimmy Lennon. victory. We want to thank our director and our executive producer, Frank Belmont, for a terrific job. For our staff here at King Vision and uh, Belmonte Productions, I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan saying thanks for joining us and so long from Mexico City. Good night, everybody.